Good morning, everyone. This is Zombie Kids Rule, and uh, this is my first video being made on the Steam Deck itself uh, using just uh, OBS Studio uh, on the Steam Deck and uh, running it through the Steam Deck and not doing anything external, you know, uh, not using my laptop, not using any uh, external plugin or, or anything, things like that. Um, so I, I wanted to do this video first because, um, you know, when I did my unboxing video, but that was, that was using my laptop and an external camera. And, uh, when I, I thought that recording on the steam deck would, would be as simple as recording on my one X player, uh, mini AMD, which I've posted a bunch of videos of, of, uh, of gameplay, um, on steam of, of steam games uh, on that. And it was as simple as. You know, I, I downloaded OBS uh, Studio from the from their website, uh, got it set up, and uh, you know the the options to pick. It took me a little bit to get it set up uh, to to get the right selection, and and sometimes OBS doesn't play well uh, when I'm trying to make a recording, but but it wasn't terrible, and uh, and I'd get the recording going, then I'd go into Steam, uh, just jump in and out uh, very very rapidly because the One X player is, is Windows based, and then. You know, I'd uh, play the game and then jump out of the game, jump, drop back to uh, OBS on desktop, and just stop the recording. It was very simple, very easy. Uh, you know, took took me a, a bit of experimenting to get the recording right, but after that, it it was fine. Um, when I tried to do that on the Steam Deck, it didn't work. Um, I I tried going to gaming. I, I tried basically starting OBS uh, in uh, on the desktop and then going back to gaming mode on the Steam Deck. And that does not work. It, it, uh, I, I think there was a warning that said, hey, you're about to close everything. Do you really want to do that? And, and it does take a, a, a little bit of time to go from desktop back to gaming mode. Um, it's, it's not as quick as just having a couple windows open uh, you know, on, on a Windows-based thing uh, or, or even this other solution that I found. So uh, I do want to give a shout out to a, a user uh, on uh, the Steam, uh, Steam Deck discussions on Steam. Um, there's, there's a lot of great people there They they, they help people out. Um, when I, when I tried to find out how to do this, I looked for videos, I looked for tutorials. Uh, I searched to say, you know, look, how, how can I, how can I use OBS to record gameplay on the steam deck and all the solutions that were out there involved using other things like other software or other hardware or, you know, sending it to your computer or doing this sort of that and that and the other thing. And and I'm not technological, and and I didn't want to do that. So I did post a question on the uh, the for, the discussion board for the Steam Deck on Steam, and uh, a user uh, that goes by I can't even pronounce it, but it's it's uh, Q U S H A E S. Uh, they came back and and first confirmed that yeah, you you can't go back into gaming mode. That's that's not going to work. Um, and then you know they offered uh, the suggestion of uh, the screen screen capture, which which is great. Um, and they were absolutely right, and I'll and I'll show you that there are two different screen captures. One one works, and and one does not. So again, big shout out to that user Q U S H A E S. Thank you very much. Uh, I will follow up on the discussion post and and let uh, the folks know that um, that it did work, and, and that I I am making this quick uh, sort of tutorial uh, in case anybody else is looking for this uh, solution. This is just this is just the first way that I've been able to make this work. Uh, so there may be other ways, there may be more elegant ways, there may be more, uh, there may be ways that look better, uh, but this way definitely works. So since I'm in OBS right now and uh, the recording is going, uh, I will just show you the solution that I found, which is uh, it's screen capture, um, but there's two different screen captures uh, in OBS for the Linux version. So it, there's screen, screen capture pipe wire, which I have no idea what that is because I'm not a Linux user. I'm brand new to Linux. Uh, when I got my Steam Deck. And then there's this screen capture XSHM. Uh, Again, have no idea what that is. Um, I suppose I could Google it or, or you know, search it on the internet, but I haven't taken the time to. But the one that works is this screen capture XSHM. Because when you select that, it gives you this window option of selecting the screen 1280 by 800. When I sc select screen capture pipe wire, I don't act, it, it, it says select monitor, but, but that doesn't do anything. And uh, when I add it here, there's no option to, to select the screen. And so I did try this screen capture first, and the pipe wire one, and, and it didn't work. Uh, I experimented with it, and it would just basically record 
um, my screen uh, of this of the desk of the of the Steam Deck and not the game that I was playing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. But uh, so again, the solution was the screen capture XS, XSHM, I believe, which allows you to select the screen of 1280, uh, 1280 by 800, which is your Steam Deck screen. And essentially, the way it works is whatever is visible on your Steam Deck uh, screen in desktop mode, that's what's being recorded. And, you know, before that, I tried window capture about pipe wire and X composite. And that didn't work. It just recorded the the main screen, uh, I guess, of the Steam Deck and not the game I was playing. I, I tried browser. I tried video source. But but again, the um, the solution uh, was the um, uh, screen capture XSHM, uh, I believe. Now, how how did I get this uh, on the Steam Deck? So uh, you know, if you're new like me, uh, you know. I'm not a Linux user, user, and uh, and the Steam Deck. I've only had it a couple days, but uh, I went to the um, Discover Software Center, and essentially, um, you know, you you can, you know, I scrolled through some of these. Again, I'm not a Linux user, so I have no idea what most of these things do. Uh, but I found OBS uh, under multimedia. So, uh, and again, I'm using the the right trackpad to just navigate here, right, right, right trackpad with the clicking to as a mouse select. And uh, once I was over here, I, I basically, um, you also have to download VLC, right? You have to, or you have to have, download a video player uh, because otherwise, once you record with OBS, you won't be able to watch your video. So I did uh, download VLC and uh, I just scrolled down until uh, I found OBS. So OBS Studio and uh, I installed it through Discover. So once it was installed and, you know, I, essentially you, you know, I, op I open up OBS. And make sure screen capture is set. Uh, start my recording, and then once I start the recording, uh, you can do one of two things. Uh, I confirmed this with the last video I made and had to delete because because I screwed it up. Um, you don't go to gaming mode. Don't go to gaming mode because not only will it take you a while, but it's going to shut your stuff down on your desktop, uh, and you're not going to continue to record. Uh, you can either go to Steam, which which I did. Uh, and or you could go to the game itself. And so I'm just going to demonstrate both of those really quickly. Uh, double click on Steam. Steam opens up pretty quick. quick. There's me, Zombie Kids Rule. And I'm going to go to my library. And Wizardry is all loaded up. Uh, that's the game I've been testing. Uh, Wizardry is, is probably one of my favorite games. I've, I've uh, this, this time here, uh, almost a thousand hours. That's just since I've had it on Steam. Uh, I, I've had Wizardry... Uh, Going all the way back to the the early uh, early nineties, uh, playing well, or probably not Wizardry eight. That was I started playing Wizardry six back in the the early nineties. But uh, I, I got Wizardry eight pretty much as soon as it came out, and I've played it on multiple versions of uh, CDs and and uh, junk like that for years and years and years and years. So this is one of my favorite games. Um, once once you're in a game, uh, I just I click play, and then again, depending on the game, will depend on you know what happens. Uh, Wizardry 8 is not supported by the Steam Deck, supposedly. Um, however, it runs. Uh, I, I, I did experience a little bit of problem uh, when I was first uh, booting it up, but now uh, it does boot up. It, it does not uh, boot up. It, the, the, it should be displaying something right now. Uh, basically, some, some, you can hear the music. It's supposed to be displaying something. It doesn't. Uh, so I'm just going to click through that. But, but once it's there, it's working great, and uh, I can do my select options. I'll go back here. I could load a game if I wanted to, but I don't want to, and so I'm just going to get out of here. So that's one way to to start a recording and then uh, uh, you know get get your gameplay going. I'm going to close Steam because I just want to show again that uh, you know starting the game directly from the uh, the desktop shortcut does the exact same thing apparently. So uh, I'm still recording, and now I'm using the desktop shortcut. Uh, I'm not opening Steam. I'm just opening up the game. And once again, it's going to do the same thing. And I'm just going to skip through the opening when it comes up. Um, not that it matters right now. This is a mouse and keyboard game. I'm basically using the, the right trigger uh, or uh, the, the right trackpad, right? The right trackpad. Um, and. Uh, Either click the right trackpad, or sometimes you can use the um, the right trigger, and and that's pretty much it. So once I once I'm done there, I, I you know I, I go in, I play my game, I get as much uh, 
play recording as I want. Uh, and then I go back to OBS and then I would just press stop recording. Uh, and it's that simple. And, and now I will say on playback, uh, there, there is, I think a little bit of a border. We'll see how, see how this, this box is, um, is, you know, set to supposedly fill the screen. What I noticed was, is when I was recording, playing around with the recording, uh, in playback from VLC, there, there is some space on the sides. I don't know how to, I don't know how to get rid of that. Um, I've tried manipulating this box, but when I do that, it goes outside of the boundaries of the screen. And I had the same problem on the one X player too. Uh, some, depending on, on the game and how I'm recording it, sometimes it does a double partial double screen, which, which I then have to try to figure out how to stop. Uh, or sometimes there's like a border around it of unused area. And sometimes I can fix it. Sometimes I can't. Um, I'm not really worried about it because what I really want to do is just be able to record gameplay. So um, I, I did notice that, but uh, again, I haven't figured out how to get rid of it yet. And, and it's not, it doesn't make the video unwatchable. So that's all that matters. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. So download OBS uh, or you know, whatever, explore other ways to do this. But the way I found that works is I downloaded OBS Studio from Discover, uh, you know, uh, on, the, on the Steam Deck. And then I downloaded a video player. I chose VLC and, uh, you know, opened up uh, OBS and uh, selected the screen capture, uh, XSHM, I think. Uh, so that gives you the option to select the screen 1280 by 800. And I guess what it's doing is, is it's anything that's showing up on your screen, it's recording it. And then, um, you know, you start your recording and then you can go and uh, either go into Steam again, uh, not the uh, not the gaming mode, but you just go into Steam and then select your game and play or uh, use your desktop icon and launch it from there. And you play your game. And when you're done, you essentially, you know, drop back out, uh, come back to OBS and then just press stop recording. And you should be good to go. Now, I will show this. Um, I it, it probably won't show up yet, but uh, again, this is I'm not I'm not familiar with Linux. I don't know how this how everything works. But um, in uh, in on in Windows, uh, and actually, you can see the the videos here. Um, you know, I would have to go to videos, and uh, that is not where OBS is is sending it uh, by default. I'm sure there might be a setting I can probably tweak it. But uh, it, it, you can get to the video from either opening up the, um, uh, just the basic uh, Dolphin, right? The, the Dolphin, I guess, folder, if you want to call it that, Home Dolphin. And the videos are showing up here. Uh, or if you're in OBS, uh, you can actually um, uh, go up to File, and uh, it lets you show, and it will show the recording. So you could, you could do that as well. Uh, and again, I'll play around and figure out where I want these to be sent and saved. But but this Linux is very very different from Windows. I'm, I'm and I'm on the Steam Deck, of course, so I don't have my regular mouse uh, that I'm familiar with. So I'm still trying to figure out how to get access to different features and and do things like that. It's it's a it's a it's a, um, a learning uh, process. But anyway, I hope this helps people. Um, you know, if you if you want to record of your gameplay on the Steam Deck just from the Steam Deck using like OBS because you don't want to, you want to be able to record anywhere. You don't want to have to have connection to your PC, your laptop or any other hardware or anything like that. You just want to be able to, uh, to essentially make a video from pretty much anywhere that you take your Steam Deck. I think this will work. Um, OBS and then, uh, you know, getting to your game from, uh, the, from the desktop. Uh, not going into gaming mode. So anyway, again, I hope I hope this helps, folks. Uh, I, I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to start posting uh, uh, videos of of my gameplay on the Steam Deck now, uh, and and especially probably games that are less popular, maybe uh, older games, and because uh, those are the ones I really like, and I want to see you know if if they work on the Steam Deck. And uh, so and so far so good. I, I love the Steam Deck. I I think I prefer it over the One X player. Uh, mini AMD, um, but uh, but again, I'm 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 going to be doing some comparison later on. So thank you very much, folks. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, you know that's that's what a, that's what the goal here is. And uh, you know, happy gaming. And you know, if these videos help you, you know, please like, subscribe, 
uh, you know, leave comments and, and, but you know, you're not here for technical help because I'm not a techie. Uh, you're, you're just here to look at an old, old person who's trying to figure this out uh, and sharing what they, what they discover. So thank you very much, folks. Have a great day and, uh, uh, you know, hope to get some more uh, videos on the Steam Deck of gameplay coming up here shortly. Thank you very much and uh, see you later.